Hi, my name is JP and in this quick tutorial I want to show you how I made this VR first person shooter experience as possible. you can see it's really I explain you precise, what app and what fast. apps I've used, what settings I've made and what hardware I've used. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so what do we need? Of course you need some headphones. You don't want to use those crappy smartphone speakers when you get fully immersed into a game. Um, secondly, you need an input device. Um, any Bluetooth or mobile controller uh, might be good, but I highly recommend the DualShock 3 6-axis controller from the PlayStation 3 because of the awesome 6 x app, but more to that later. Um, you need a VR goggle system. Google Cardboard is good, but you can, can't attach it to your head. This is very better. This is the Drovis Dive. You can buy it um, from Amazon or eBay. For, it costs about 60 to 70 euros. Um, I've melted away some of the plastic material and taped over some uh, tape so my phone won't get damaged. And I melted away the plastic because I have a fairly large smartphone. Speaking of which, this is the Oppo Find 7 running Cyanogen Mod 11. This is the Quad HD version. It's a really nice display. And here, yeah, perfect for VR experiences. Okay, so let's go. Um, first of all, we need to connect our gamepad to the device. Um, I'm using the 6-axis app and the mobile controller app. The mobile controller app basically tricks your uh, smart uh, your uh, game into thinking that you're using a official MOGA controller because most of the games have just MOGA support. Okay, let's connect the controller. Just press start. You have to sync the Bluetooth address. It on. Yeah, it's connected. Okay, uh, a very important thing is go to preferences, um, the mouse emulation because most of the um, game love games have quick time events, and with this mouse emulation, you can activate a virtual mouse and control it with your stick. Um, to do that, you have to press a button. I. I think I chosen left and here there we go this is the mouse and if the quick time event happens I can press and swipe over the uh, screen in the first round you will die but in the second round uh, second attempt works a hundred percent of the time okay so let's start the mobile controller app and yeah we're good to go let me just turn off the mouse um, I'm going to show you Modern Combat 4. It's a game of game. So what you have to do is um, you go to the settings and you can see yeah, it's updating, 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 checking. Um, you need to go to the settings and enable the gyro sensor. Settings, controls, gyroscope, and put the sensitivity uh, for Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Combat 4 uh, to the highest level. For Nova 3, it's uh, about half because it's very sensitive in this game. Um, I've also tried Blitz Brigade. It's very awesome too. So I'm, I'm going to start the game. And... You will see that I'm using the gyroscope to look around and aim. There we go. Okay, so We have, we have our game running, the controller is connected, now the 
magic happens because this is the very useful SPS native app. Uh, it's currently in alpha state. I've joined the Google Plus community to test it. I will put all the links to the apps and the name of the um, community in the description below. So this is the app. You install it. It restarts your phone. And here you can uh, do some uh, setup. Because uh, my VR goggle system is made for 5 inch screens. And I have a 5.5 inch screen. Uh, I zoom out a little bit, about 91%, and the image distance I measured it to the um, lenses is 45 millimeters. So if we enable it, it basically puts the whole picture into a side-by-side -side view. And the problem is that the touch input is still based on the um, uh, ordinary screen size so I'm gonna put this and nothing happens touch this and nothing happens so what I have to do is I have to guess where the touch input is there we go now we're gonna back to gonna back to I'm gonna come back <laughs> come on already Okay, so yeah, here we go. This is it. Modern Combat 5 in VR mode. Side by side picture. A high resolution, enough for immersive gaming. And I still can adjust the view with the right stick if I'm wrong. I'm looking in the wrong direction. Yeah. There you go. Um, I'm gonna show some uh, gameplay in other videos. You can watch them. I'm gonna play Nova 3 and Modern Combat 4. And if you like my video, hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will put out more videos the next few days. My name is JP. I hope you liked the video. See ya. Bye.